Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel Le Bon Voyage. So you're probably wondering why I'm sat here with my cup of tea right now. Um, I actually got this idea from another vlogger called Talk Becky Talk. I will leave a link below if you haven't already seen her channel then definitely make sure you go check that out. She's such a lovely lady and she just so easy to relate to, very honest and open um, and yeah. But today's video is actually going to be about mental health. Um, it's not going to be anything negative, it's, it's uh, quite the opposite. I thought I would share with you my own personal experiences. Um, I actually have suffered with depression uh, on and off since 2012 and I thought it would be good for me to share it on this platform because um, I think very often uh, bloggers, influencers, whatever you want to call her, um, we only share the good stuff and I think it's important to have a balance and to share um, things that, you know, affect everybody at the end of the day in different ways. So yeah, um, I've suffered with depression since 2012, um, not constantly right through, there's uh, periods where I've been fine. Um, for various different reasons and um, I thought this time around I have been trying some different techniques to kind of help me um, get back into my daily routines um, because I think when you when you suffer with depression um, it's more than just a low mood it um, affects your ability to do daily tasks um, you don't go out and socialize and so it's kind of a downward spiral because by avoiding those situations you are actually kind of making yourself feel worse. But of course when you have depression you don't realise you're doing that. Um, so I think the first thing is to remember that if you have depression um, there's a lot of resources out there and a lot of people that will help you. Um, the first step I think to kind of making yourself feel better is don't be afraid to talk to your friends, don't be afraid to talk to your work colleagues. Um, I've been very fortunate, um, a lot of my friends have been very supportive and if you are watching this video thank you so much guys. Um, but yeah, um, obviously make sure you see a doctor, um, they will be able to kind of advise what's the best strategy uh, to kind of help you deal with it. Um, for me personally, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, People would say that exercise is such a great way to kind of like a mood lifter and I completely agree. I've actually started um, taking my Westy Toby walks uh, more regularly and I've started um, going for bike rides and just being in the fresh air really really helps. Um, you can also do things like colouring if you are, are more artistic or just you know you're into those kind of things um coloring so i think at the moment i think that it's meant to be very good you know to kind of relax um for me uh just i think the exercise thing is key for me i get up in the morning i you know take toby for a walk and that's it once i've got out of bed that's it i'm i'm motivated um blogging is another thing for me personally um it's just it's so nice to be able to connect with like-minded people, um, not avoiding social situations. Um, you know, just be open with your friends and say, look, I'm not having a very good day. And nine times out of ten, they will help you. And nine times out of ten, when you push yourself that little bit to get into that situation, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be full on like a party. Um, it can be something simple like going to the beach going to the shops, um, going for a picnic. Um, another thing that I actually did recently, me and Al actually signed up to the National Trust and um, that is something that I am so grateful for because, excuse me, uh, again, countryside, I, I love looking around old buildings. So if you have something that you enjoy and you're passionate about, then why not try and focus on those things because 9 out of 10 they're not going to fix the problem but they help um, and I think the, the other thing is is that um, very often you like with myself um, 
you can have triggers, so things that trigger you to relapse and be depressed again. And I think the key to that is trying to ascertain exactly what causes it. And the best way to do that sometimes, for me personally, um, is to you can have therapy, and that's what I'm going to be starting this week. And I think it's really good because by talking to somebody that um, specialises in that, um, it can kind of give you the tools to one identify when you find yourself going back down again and two how to avoid the triggers so for example i personally um have found in the past that certain individuals uh their negativity um brings me down drains my positive energy so i really think just surrounding yourself with the right people um having support talking to people changing your diet um that's another thing that i've started doing um my sister's actually doing the slimming world program and she looks incredible and i think for me rather than sort of focusing on losing weight i'm trying to focus on having a healthy body having a healthy mind that's why i sort of doing the exercise and that but yeah mainly just talking to people and everything has really really helped and you know um don't be afraid to say look i'm having a bad day don't be afraid to say to people i suffer with depression nine times out of ten you think people are going to judge you and actual facts a lot of my friends have told me and said you know what i've been there I've, I've i know exactly how you feel and actually by sharing that um you feel left alone and i think that's the key to kind of fighting it so yeah that's my little ramble for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any questions on mental health or depression then please feel free to leave a comment below and i will do my best to get back to you and i hope you all have a lovely week and i'll speak to you guys soon thank you bye